Hello everybody and welcome back to the Seattle Mariners franchise here on MLB The Show 19. We are beginning season 2 of our journey here as we look at the new look team and the new lineup that we're putting out this year. Malik Smith, Xander Bogarts, Anthony Rendon, Nelson Cruz, three of those guys are new. We have Domingo Santana, Mitch Hanniger, Ryan Healy, and Omar Narvaez, as well as Shed Long. We've also brought along a rookie coming up this year who will split time with Shed Long. That is Chris Santiago. We also have Jed Jerko coming off the bench at times. Ben Zobris will be playing some, as well as Yan Gomes. So, quite a new team taking on the league this season as we have picked up plenty of guys in free agency as well as via trade and now taking a look at what the rotation is going to look like this year we've got Dallas Keuchel still brought him back for another year Mike Leak, Yuse Kikuchi Felix Hernandez, who we brought back for one more season, and Marco Gonzalez comes back. So same starting five as we had the end of last year, hoping they take a jump. We have Ivan Nova. Ivan Nova It will be our long reliever, the former starting pitcher for the New York Yankees and Pittsburgh Pirates. We also have Alta Villa coming back, Strickland, Tui Valala coming back, Corey Guerin coming back, and we've brought in Dan Otero and Brandon Morrow to close. So welcome to opening day here at T-Mobile Park as we're taking on the St. Louis Cardinals, and we'll see what they have to offer as Miles Mikolas will be going up against our new lineup, which is featuring Anthony Rendon in the cleanup spot. So here we are in the second inning. There's a walk. Now two outs with that leadoff walk, and Ryan Healy going to go down swinging. Dallas Keuchel pitching pretty well so far. He'll get the strikeout there, and then again here will give up a hit here as he was going to get two strikeouts in the third inning, but a hit here with two outs. Maybe a little two-out rally for the Cardinals, as here's another hit up the middle, and that one cannot be gotten by Shed Long. So two on with two out, and Keuchel going to deliver, and unfortunately for us, right to a player for an out. So now the 3-1 pitch, and that's going to be a walk. Another 3-1 pitch is taken the other way by Malik Smith, and that is going to put two on with one out. So here we have a chance and a hit batter as we're going to get the bases loaded with one out here, but that one going to be caught and tag for the double play to get the Cardinals out of this one. Three hits total in the game through three innings. And here we go. Keuchel going to get the strikeout here in the top of the fourth. Going to get a second strikeout in a row. And now on a 1-2 count to Marcel Ozuna, he's going to give up a bomb. That thing is out of here. And the St. Louis Cardinals will strike first. Marcel Ozuna with their first run of the season off of a solo shot here. Again in the top of the fourth, Keiko will get out of that one without any more damage. And now here we go to the bottom of the fifth. There is Healy, and he's going to put that one all the way to the wall on a grounder down the first baseline. That would get him two bags and give us a leadoff double. So here looking Omar Narvaez, he's going to strike out kind of silly, but the ball gets away from the catcher, Yadier Molina. And we're going to get Healy on third base with only one out, and Shed Long is going to hit him in. Shed Long will be the first person to get an RBI for our team. Probably not something you guys would have guessed, but it happens, and that one is going to be flied out there. So here we go. It is Dallas Keuchel still on the mound in the top of the seventh, and he's going to give up another bomb, and that is Marcel Ozuna again. Two solo shots by Marcelo Zuna, making this a 2-1 to one ball game. That one would ground right through the middle. Second baseman could not get to it. John Brebbia going to come into the game because of it. 
as the Cardinals not going to risk the great start that was given today by Miles Mikolas. So after getting a strikeout, they're going to take him out and bring in Brett Cecil, who is on a 3-2 count right now, and he's going to give up a hit. That's going to put two on with only one out here in the seventh. And on the 3-2 pitch, Shed Long going to look silly. And now here we are, bottom seven still, and that's Malik Smith. He's going to get the bases loaded with two outs. This is huge. Dominic Leone coming into the game. 5-0 last season with a 4.09 ERA. And here's Bogertz looking silly as he could not make contact with the high heat. So 2-1 game going into the ninth. A 3-2 pitch here. Dallas Keuchel still in the ball game. That somehow stays fair for a base knock. So here on a 2-1 pitch. That one's going to be down the left field line and caught out in left field by Domingo Santana. So here we are, top nine still with that runner on first base, and Bogert's going to throw, make the easy out over the first. It's going to put a guy on. Keiko would walk the next batter, and here we are with two on, two out, and that one going to get caught out there by Domingo Santana on the fly ball. So top nine with only one out. This one is going to get ripped into left center field, and Keuchel still in this ball game, hoping to go the complete game. We'll see if he does it. Two and two, and there's a strikeout right there for Keuchel. Now on a 3-2, they don't give him that, which is unbelievable. So with two on and two out, Mariners not going to take any chances here. They bring in Dan Otero, and he is going to get the final out of the top of the ninth inning. And we move to the bottom of the ninth where big bad Andrew Miller is coming to the mound. He gets Mitch Hanniger quite silly on a super high heat. And then Ryan Healy going to be caught out at first and Omar Narvaez looking silly as well as they're just trying to do too much with it. Marcelo Zuna the clear player of the game as he would hit two solo shots which would prove to be the game winning solo shot his second one. So he has two home runs, two RBIs on the season. Miles Mikolas with ten strikeouts through six innings Great outing for him, starting off his season on a 1.5 ERA. Malik Smith batting 500 early this season, so is Shed Long, as Shed with a couple extra walks. But he picks up our only RBI, Ryan Healy picks up our only extra base hit, and Dallas Keuchel gets 11 Ks through eight and two thirds, giving up two runs on seven hits. So, unfortunately we lose the opening day game, but here we go, looking at the rest of it, a 13 to one win in our second game of the season with Mike Leak on the mound, picking up where he left off last year, had an incredible season for us, and he's looking to do it again. Only had four strikeouts, but the man just was not giving up runs. As we look at what happened for us here, Rendon, Santana, and Hanniger all hitting home runs in this ball game. So huge, huge, huge. Hanniger had four RBIs in this one. Rendon had three. That makes you wonder if Hanniger hit a grand slam. We'll never really know. But Mike Leak goes seven, only giving up one earned run. Fantastic performance from him. Yusei Kikuchi going to win a 5 nothing game. He goes seven and a third with 12 strikeouts. Fantastic performance from Yusei Kikuchi, a guy who was not very good last year in his rookie season, but hopefully takes a step forward for us. As we win this 5-0 game, Mitch Hanniger with another homer. Shed Long hits his first home run of the season as well in this one. And Hunter Strickland goes the last inning in two-thirds to secure the win. So here we are, second game of the episode, taking on the Texas Rangers. Got to get that. 
And here we go. It is Rendon taking on the Texas Rangers as he is always our guy there that they're going to show. But Felix Hernandez going to give up a run early. Something he had a problem with last year, and he's doing it again. But luckily gets the fly out to right field to end his first inning, only giving up one run. Now to the top. Right center field, and that one is shopping gap for the double. So Hernandez giving up a double there, but then he gets the strikeout on the beautiful changeup. Now a 3-2 pitch in the top of the six. That's going to be a hit. That's going to put two on with nobody away. So rough for Felix Hernandez. He battles it back to two away and then gets the ground out to Xander Bogarts. And that would be the last out of that inning. Now we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. And we're going to start it off with a leadoff single. We're down one nothing off of that early first inning run. Now here's Ryan Healy, and he's going to hit this thing up the middle, but that's going to be a double play to end it. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning, and there's a beautiful hit down the left field line, and that's going to be a double to start us off in this inning. So please, can we get something across? Oh, big bad Jose Leclerc coming in to try and close this game out. And that one is going to go right to short and Malik Smith will beat it out. And we're gonna get two on with only one away here. A three, two count and Bogert's gonna strike out. Then Rendon gonna strike out quite silly and that's gonna end this thing. Rafael Montero is the player of the game. He goes eight innings with nine strikeouts, only allowing five hits. We score no runs on six hits. They score a run on four hits, and it was good enough for them. So actually, Felix Hernandez pitched really well to not give up that many hits. As you can see, he only gave up the four hits to Ivalala, a no-hit two innings for him. But not enough to get the win. We lose 1-0. Dan Altavia picks up a win going 3.2. as it is going to be a 3-2 win for us. We win it in the bottom of the ninth on a walk-off. That's pretty incredible for us. I'm Hopefully that's something that continues as we go ahead and get the 3-2 win here against the Texas Rangers to take that series two games to one. So, early on in the season, as you can see our batting averages, we have a lot of pretty good ones. Hanniger could do a little bit better, but hopefully he will pick it up later on. Marco Gonzalez picking up the win right, or picking up the hold right there for Altavilla to win it. And then Keuchel going to pick up his first win of the season in a 2-1 fashion, just like he lost in a 2-1 fashion before. But this time, he'll pick up the 2-1 victory. As we'll see what happened here with our team batting-wise. Cruz and Santiago going to pick up the RBIs in this one. And Keuchel goes six innings, gives up no runs on one hit. Five strikeouts, Strickland, no hits in his one inning. The bullpen combines for a shutout for their work. So now, as you can see, we are one game behind the Astros, and we are going to take them on next episode. Let me know how you think that's going to go. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Plenty more Mariners coming your way. Thank you. Welcome to Season 2.